Ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from the League of Cinephiles, and welcome to our first Iron Man Christmas movie trivia match. We have a really excited one here today, and I'm joined here by my co-commissioner, Luke. Luke, I know you're quite the fan of Christmas movies, and you helped write some of these questions, and you are quite familiar with these competitors. What are you most excited for about this match today? I think when we play these trivia matches, you always get some very funny answers when they just don't know the answer. And I'm very much looking forward to that. With Christmas movies, there's a lot of possibility for chaos. And it was really fun writing the questions, so I think it's going to be a good show. Yeah, and this, of course, is not like our other matches that we do. This is an Iron Man match. There will be 30 minutes on the clock, and our competitors have as much have that much time to answer as many questions as they can under that time. So let's go on and bring out our first competitor, will you say? Let's do that. All right, our first competitor for the day, representing the commission, we have Business Ben. Happy holidays, everyone. Representing the Wolf Pack, Mr. Notorious, how are you? Hey, pal. What's going on? <laughs> representing the Cinephiles in Paradise, Dev, the Conqueror Stafford. How are you doing today, my friend, with your little oh. reading? Hello, yes, I was just brushing up on the greatest Christmas movie ever made, of course, Die Hard. And rounding out our competitors for the match, representing the Hungry Bogarts, Darren Movie Reviews. How are you today, sir? Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. <laughs> Let's go ahead and break down the rules. So for the Iron Man match, there are 30 minutes on the clock and unlimited questions. Once a question is read, competitors will have 15 seconds to write down the answer to the question. Answers must be written legibly and completely, and you'll get one point for each correct answer. The competitors have two repeats to use throughout the course of the match, and whoever has the most points at the end of the speed round at the end of the round will be the winner. Darren, are you ready? Dev, are you ready? Yes, I oh, yeah. am. Business Ben, are you ready? Ho ho! Holy shit, I'm ready. And Notorious. Worst of time at all. Let's do it. Then let's get ready to clash. 30 minutes starts now, and Luke, you can begin with the first question. First question. What language does Colin Firth's character attempt to learn and love actually in order to confess his love? A Christmas movie I have not seen actually. Maybe my biggest blind spot for the holiday. Well, spoiler alert, this movie is going to come up a lot. This <laughs> me and Alex both very much love it. And three, two, one. That's time. Let's go to Dev. I I hate this movie. I just wrote Swedish because I don't remember. And Darren. Portuguese. Ben. I'm not a big fan of this one either. I put French. And Notorious. It is Portuguese. I put Italian. Is Swedish even a language? <laughs> yes, it yes, is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Obrigado. It is indeed Portuguese. Darren First gets the point early Darren. on. Moving on now to our second question. What city does Buddy travel to in order to find his dad, an elf? Now, this one I have seen many times, thanks to going to school. <laughs> the questions do vary in difficulty throughout. And three, two, one. It's right. time. Uh, let's start with Ben. After the swirly, twirly gumdrops, he gets to New York City. Notorious. Gonna go through the Liberty Tubes to get to the New York City. Dev. The magical land of New York City. I don't know where my thing is. And Darren. New York City. And they all get it correct. The correct answer was the Big Apple, New York City. Darren's Question. still holding his lead, but everyone now on the board. Question Luke number three. Question. What Muppet plays Bob Cratchit in the Muppet Christmas Carol? I just watched this for the first time last night in a while, and I adored this movie. I need to rewatch it. I think. Michael Caine giving Three, probably his best performance. Three, two, <laughs> one. That's time. And let's just go in the same order every time, just to make things quicker. Let's start with Darren, Ben, Dev, and Torius. Kermit the Frog. Oh, hey, guys. It's Kermit. I don't even remember who Bob Cratchit is. I just wrote the first Muppet I could think of, so Animal. <laughs> animal! Kermit. I thought that was too obvious. And I, well, it is Kermit. No, sorry guys, I can't do a Kermit. <laughs> There's only one more sleep one. till Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
correct <laughs> answer is Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to your fourth question. What food is Officer Powell buying at the gas station in Die Hard? First time I opened the document, I was going to write this question, but it was already there. <laughs> great, well, with great minds, you know. And three, two, one. That's right. time. Darren? Nachos? Ben? Uh, roller dog. Hot dog. Uh, Dev? I think he was buying Twinkies. And Notorious. And to quote, uh, that's a giant Twinkie. Twinkies. <laughs> It's everything a growing boy needs. Twinkie is the correct answer. So Notorious and Dev both get those points. Your next question is... What specific present does Ralphie want more than anything for in Christmas? For Christmas in a Christmas story? Very specific. I got one of these too when I was about his age. So definitely <laughs> plays a bit towards that, personally. <laughs> How specific are we going? Very. Brand is three, brand is one, as much as you can go. One. That's time. All right, D uh, Darren. Red Rider action BB gun. This is Ben. I just have Red Rider BB gun. Dev. I just had Red Rider BB gun. And Notorious. I three just had Red Rider BB gun. And Red Rider BB gun is exactly what we had written down. Everybody gets the points. Very good job. Shoot your eye out, kid. I know there's like a whole spiel he says before Red Rider BB Gun, so I was like... Like what it contains and everything like that? That would have been a really crazy question. Like Next 35 question. millimeter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What song does Billy Mac release in Love Actually, which re reaches number one on the charts? You guys really do like this movie. Oh, wow. What's that song called? I'd sing it. It has the title in it. Three, two, one. That's time. Oh, Darren? He's frozen. Nope. Just the season for freezing. All right. Oh, uh, we'll go with Ben. Okay. Right uh, Christmas memories. I don't know. Dev? Put WAP. <laughs> <laughs> Notorious? Gosh, I didn't have anything. I'm so pissed because I watched this movie like last week. And Darren, so, you, and I'm so back. You it is Christmas here. is all around you. That's it. Christmas is all around is correct. Yep. Good point there for Dev. <sighs> Darren, I mean. Miss I'll take Portuguese. the point on that. I was not paying attention. I missed Portuguese and then this one, man. Whew. How good. did you miss the song? It's like in the movie ten times. <laughs> and it was funny because I literally was thinking about it and I'm like, I just, yeah. We well, probably were, you know, on a little too much eggnog when you watched it because that's the only way you'd make it through. Your, your next question. <laughs> <laughs> what nickname do Marvin and Harry refer to themselves as when being placed in the police car in Home Alone? The first keep one. In, keep in mind, this is the first movie. Okay. Well, you spoil the second one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's a second Three, one. Three, two, one. What? Time. All right. Darren. The Wet Bandits. Ben. We are the Wet Bandits. Dev. The Wet Bandits. And Whoa. Notorious. The Wet Bandits. And everyone gets that correct. The Wet Bandits is the correct answer. They become the Sticky Bandits. In the ah, damn it. <laughs> you you would not have gotten bonus points for that. Moving on to the next question. What is, what the, is name the name of the head... Oh, yeah, that's you. What is the name of the head elf at the North Pole in The Santa Claus? Starring Tim Allen. Buzz Lightyear himself. <laughs> In three, two, one, time. Darren? I got Bernard. Ben? Bernard. Dev? I haven't seen this in like a decade. I just wrote Steve. <laughs> and Notorious. Bernard. <laughs> Bernard is the correct answer, so Darren, Ben, and Notorious get a point on that one. Steve for Blue's Clues. <laughs> Could wow. be, I don't know. Hell Your yeah. ninth question. Howard's son desperately wants an action figure of what character in Jingle All the Way? You mean Jake Lloyd himself? <laughs> Mm 
three, two, one. It's time. Darren? <laughs> Turbo Man. Ben? Yeah, it's Turbo Man. <laughs> Dev? I've never seen it. I just wrote Steel. I thought I was going to say Steve again. Notorious? <laughs> Not a pervert, just looking for Turbo Man doll. <laughs> Turbo Man is the correct answer. Darren, Ben, and Notorious once again getting the points. I've got to get the Turbo Man doll. <laughs> Luke with the next question. What's the name of the Grinch's dog in How the Grinch Stole Christmas? I'll defend the Jim Carrey version all day. I don't mm -hmm. care. I know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a fan. Yes. It, it's no animated, Three, but it's cute. Three, two, one. It's time. Right. Darren? We're going with Max. Ben. Oh, Max. Dev. Steve. No, I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> <laughs> and Notorious. Max. Max is the correct answer. Four points all around. Should put, you should put Steve in. Mix it up a little bit. Get crazier. I put the PH. The make PH it professional. In. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Your next question. In the Santa Claus 3, the escape clause, the North Pole is decorated in such a fashion to convince Scott Calvin's in-laws that the North Pole is actually what country? Oh, fuck. I didn't see this one. Oh, boy. Care to venture a guess? Yeah, sure. In three, two, one. It's time. Darren? Okay, this is a guess, but we're going with the American disregard for Canada. <laughs> notorious or not uh, uh, yeah sure notorious i just put i don't know japan uh ben. i put norway and dev i also put norway the correct answer is canada darren oh, gets the sole wow. point there oh, nice Very i was waiting to hear there. sweden and i was gonna clues. be so oh, yeah. pissed <laughs> luke with dev's, your next dev's got the swedish on his back after this episode in Love Actually, instead of a necklace, Emma Thompson receives a CD box set from her husband of what famous singer who she mentions she loves in the film. No, I didn't remember this one, guys, so... Al Alex Helmer's question. I'm going to be okay on this one, Alex. Alex Alex's going to have a big smile on this one. <clears throat> in three, two, one, it's time. Darren? I've looked at love from both sides. Now, Joni Mitchell. Ben? I knew it was someone in that realm. I put Carly Siren. Carly Simon. Dev? <laughs> oh my God. I put Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> <laughs> and Notorious. Joni Mitchell. The correct answer was Joni Mitchell, Darren, and Notorious both get those points. Oh, God. Born in the USA. Was... In a British film. <laughs> Your next question. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Name three of the four main food groups in Elf. Real quiet. Three, two, one. It's time. Uh, Darren? We've got candy, candy cane, and syrup. Ben? Candy corn, candy canes, and maple syrup. Dev? I've got all four. Candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup. Cool. And Notorious. I only have candy, candy canes, candy corn. Well, Dev, I can't give you that extra point, but all three, all four of you guys are correct. Candy, candy corns, candy canes, and syrup are the four main food groups. All right, your next question. Who is the last of the terrorists to be killed in Die Hard? Three, two, one, go. Uh, Darren? I've got Hans Gruber. Ben? Hans Gruber. Dev? I don't remember his name. It's the, the actor who's a ballerina. Yeah. And Notorious. Hans Gruber. The correct answer 
actually Carl. Hans Gruber Carl. fell from the plane, but everyone remembers the, the officer right. shot Matt Carl. Tony Plaza. Lot. Correct yourself. Although the ballerina point was correct. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. Carl. Starring Jimmy Carl. Stewart, the shop around the corner takes place in what European country? Let's test Dev's geography skills once more. <laughs> you already know what my answer is going to be. Steve. I can tell you it's not <laughs> Three, two, one, time. Right. Darren? We've got France. Ben? Uh, somehow put four ticks here, but England. Uh, Dev? I put Sweden. And Notorious. I put Italy. Everyone was incorrect, unfortunately. The correct <laughs> answer was Hungary. Hungary. Luke, now... With... Oh, I gotta go to a new folder. New folder. Right, Luke with the next question. Next question. Who directed the wildly different Christmas classics A Christmas Story and 1974's Black Christmas? It's a just, classic Helmer question. Just watch Black Christmas first time. The other night. I literally just watched it last night and I wrote down this guy's name. I hope I... Oh my god. Three, so two, one. Darren? Time. Got nothing. I know it's a Canadian director, but nothing. Ben? Bob Clark? Dev? Bob Clark and Notorious Bob Clark. Bob Clark is the correct answer. Everyone but Darren getting that point. As we approach 16 minutes into the 30 minute match. Your next question. Jack Black has what job within the film industry in the holiday? Three, two, one. Three. Everyone. All right. Darren? Film composer. Ben? Composer. Dev? I just wrote marketing. And Notorious. Yeah, I had director. It's composer. Composer is correct. D Darren <clears throat> and Ben both get those points. Luke with your next question. Instead of cash, Clark's boss gives him a membership to what club has a Christmas bonus? <laughs> Great question. Christmas vacation. Lewis, my tree. <laughs> it looks like yes. everyone's done. Everyone's uh, done. Darren. That would be the Jelly of the Month Club. Ben. Bang on, Jelly of the Month. Darren. <sighs> or not Darren. Dev. <laughs> I haven't seen it, so I just put Wally World. And what? Notorious. What? Jelly of the Month Club. Jelly of the Month Club is the correct answer. Those three all get their points there. It's okay, Dev. It's not a very good movie. <gasps> what? <laughs> Moving on to the next question. <laughs> what book did George receive as a gift from Clarence in It's a Wonderful Life? Good picture. Now, if people like this movie, I might have to say something about it. Okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah. Looks like everyone's done. Darren? Encyclopedia? Ben? That would be some gift. Uh, I just threw out Tom Sawyer. Dev? <laughs> Kill a Mockingbird. And Notorious. A Christmas Carol? The correct answer is The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Ben get that, gets that point. Very good pull there. Sweet. Pull. Luke with the next question. In Home Alone, what is Fuller told to go easy on? Very proud of this one. Specifically? Yes, yes. very specifically. Ah, okay. Yeah, everyone's done, I think. Yeah. Darren? Pepsi? Ben? I said soda, and then I had Pepsi also. Dev? I put Diet Coke. And Notorious. I thought he was drinking Coke, and I said, not the powder. <laughs> the correct answer is Pepsi. Go uh, he was on the Pepsi. He drinks it in a second when I think it was Coke. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> I know. Moving on to the next question. Who earned an Oscar nomination for his role as Chris Kringle in 1947's Miracle on 34th Street? Oh, fuck. I knew this was going to come out. Three, two, 
one last time. Darren? Anything? I got nothing. Ben? Uh, Edmund Gwynn? Dev? I'm about to piss off Helmer. I put Paul Newman. <laughs> and Notorious. I got nothing. Ben, once again with the yes. poll, the correct answer is Edmund Gwen. And Good I do poll. believe he won for the role also. Quite Good a poll. win. Your next question. Your next question. A Bad Mom's Christmas was released how many years after the original Bad Mom's? Very Helmer like, question. Within the movie timeline or our timeline? Our timeline. Like release date wise. Okay. Three, two, one. Next time. Darren? I believe it was one year. Ben? I uh, guess three. Dev? I believe it was two. And Notorious? There was a bigger gap. I said five. The correct answer is actually one. Darren really? with the point there. Good Jesus, job. I thought, wow, I thought that movie nope. was... I thought 2016, that was a, 2017. Wow. I thought, that, I thought it was a bigger gap. Your next question. 8-Bit Christmas sees a boy named Jake Doyle who is after to get what gift for Christmas? Approaching the final third of the match here. Alrighty, it looks like everyone's done. Darren, what is your answer? Is it a Super Nintendo? Ben? I didn't have the official name, but Nintendo Game System. Dev? I thought it was an Atari. And Notorious. Nintendo. The correct answer is the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. So good job. You guys all got it. I'm all getting right. cold for Christmas. Your next, next question. question. The secret message Ralphie deciphered from the little orphan Annie radio show in the Christmas story told him to drink what? I don't know what that is to this day. It's funny. I, I, I don't think I know either. It's funny because we run a 5K that starts in Cleveland and ends at the house, and they give it out after. Oh, that's oh, funny. Wow. Yeah. Two, one, time. Darren? So I've never seen it. I've only seen the musical, and that was not in there, so no answer. <laughs> ben? The musical should have it. Drink your Ovaltine. Dev? You hit one of the three movies I know. Don't forget to drink your Ovaltine. <laughs> and Notorious. Ovaltine. It's like a chocolate milk. Ovaltine is the correct answer. Hot Don't chocolate the... or whatever. Your next question. Who plays Ebenezer Scrooge in the 1984 version of A Christmas Carol? And there are under 10 minutes left in the Iron Man match. Three. Can I get a two. repeat? One oh, repeat goes. Oh, I forgot we had those. <laughs> Could you have used it? I, I think I finished writing in time, but three, two, one. It's time. Darren. Random guess: Jonathan Price. Ben. Uh, I don't think I've seen this one. Jim Carrey. Dev. I was originally going to say Paul Newman again, but then I remembered I saw a 1901 version with Henry Winkler. And not, not literal 1901. Is. This is where I just had George C. Patton on it. I can't think of the actor. But... You're close. You got the character. You got the George character C. you played right. George C. Scott is the Scott, correct answer. motherfucker. I knew it wasn't Patton. That's why I was like, it's not Patton. It's not Patton. Next I question. Man, how old, how old is, is Kevin, Kevin oh, yeah, right. in Home Alone? Ooh. First one. A wee lad. I think everyone's good. Oh, there all you right. go. Darren? I have eight. Ben? I guess seven and cross it out and went to nine. Dev? I, I went higher with 11. And Notorious? I went nine. The correct answer is eight. Darren gets oh, the point oh, there. Nice. Man. Very good job. Nice. It was a close game coming down yeah. to the wire. Scammed by a kindergartner. Your next question. What is the name of Turbo Man's pink and furry sidekick in Jingle All the Way? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Feeding off the previous questions. <laughs> Much like you would in an exam. Yeah. 
Everyone's good. All right, Darren. Booster. Ben. <laughs> I don't know why Boogaloo gave him the mic. I just put Guy Noel. <laughs> and Notorious. <laughs> Booster. Booster and Notorious and Darren both get those points. Booster is the correct answer. Luke, with your next question. What's the name of the mountain the Grinch lives on and how did the Grinch stole Christmas? Max, this mountain we live in. That was actually pretty good. This is drifting into a Sean Connery. He inspired Three, it. Last two, time. one, this time. Darren? Mount Crumpet. Ben? Mount Crumpet. Dev? Just put who mountain? And Notorious. <laughs> Mount Crumpet. Mount Crumpet is the correct answer. Do they get their points? Moving on to the next question. What year saw the release of Robert Zemeckis' A Christmas Carol? There are seven minutes left of the match. Let's speed it up. Three. I'm going to want to repeat. One. Oh, okay. he repeats. Three, two, one. It's time. Darren? 2013. Ben? 2009 jumped out for some reason. Dev? Oh, he directed the Jim Carrey one? Okay, I would have gotten it if I knew that. I just put 1992 because I didn't know it existed. 2009. 2009 is the correct answer. Notorious and Ben both get that point. <laughs> Go to the next question. Let's keep going. In Die Hard, how does McLean get the attention of Sergeant Al Powell? Three, two, one. That's time. Darren? He throws the TV out the window. That's right. Ben? Oh, he throws body out the window. Oh, yeah. Dev? He does. He welcomes to him to the party, pal, by throwing a body onto his car. And Notorious. I put the other one. I put walkie-talkie. The correct answer is throws a body onto his car. <laughs> Dev so. and Ben both with the point there. Here, next question. <laughs> what succession actor stars as Fuller McAllister in the Home Alone movies? Oh my god. <sighs> Three, two, one. Time. Darren? Would be Rory Acoff. Tim? Uh, ben? I, put, I put Kieran Culkin. Dev. I put Steve. <laughs> and Notorious. I got nothing. It is Rory. The correct answer is actually Kieran is Culkin. Oh, Kieran, nice. Kieran Good, pull. Good pull. Although both are famous, Kieran was the one. Next question. Your next question. What number is on the sweater that George Bailey <laughs> wears when coming home with Mary after falling into the pool at the dance in It's a Wonderful Life? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Quite a fit, I might add. What a what a, what a pull on this one if this is yeah. if somebody gets this one. Shit. Three, two, one. That's time. Darren. Thirteen. Ben. Yeah, I had ninety three and then I changed to zero zero. <laughs> Dev. I originally wrote thirteen and then I decided you know Christmas is December twenty fifth so I put twenty five. And notorious. I just put a number, 42. <laughs> the correct answer is three. Three. Out of all the numbers, would be surprised to miss that one. You guys Next had question. a one in a hundred chance of getting it. <laughs> How many siblings does Kevin have in Home Alone? We got three minutes left. It's a tie game. Three, two, one. It's time. Aaron? He has four siblings. I had four as well. Uh, I just yeah. put two because I thought most of them were cousins. I had four. 
four is the correct answer. Very good <coughs> job. Moving on to your next question. Let's keep it going. Who voices Arthur in Arthur Christmas? Watch this first time this week, too. Yes, thank you for your post, Ben. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. I think I know it now. <laughs> yeah. I think everyone's good. Yeah. Three, Aaron. two, one. Time. James McAvoy. James McAvoy. Oh, said... I just put Paul Rudd. <laughs> and Eddie Redman. Correct answer is then Paul Rudd. James McAvoy. Very good job, you two. Very tight for the lead here. Yes. Your next know, question. I'm creeping up. Clark wears a navy blue baseball cap that represents which NFL team in National Lampoon's Christmas vacation? All day. All day. Got two minutes. Even less than that. All day. Come on. More Christmas vacation questions, man. <laughs> Get back into it. Three, two, one. That's time. Darren? The Chicago Bears? Duh. Ben. Bears, duh, bears, duh, bears. Dev? Uh, I was just writing Seattle. Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears is the correct answer, and we are still tied. We're running out of time. Moving on to the next question. What gift does Susan ask Chris Kringle for in Miracle on 34th Street, 1947? One minute left. Everyone's good. Uh, Darren. A bell. Oh, ben. A little, little deeper. Is it a father? Dev? I just put happiness. And Notorious. A brother? The correct answer is actually a house. A house. Oh, I thought of that too. Man. That's so spoiled. We have time for <sighs> one question left. So the next left. question. <laughs> Luke. How old is Kevin? Put, how is Kevin punished after getting into a fight with his older brother Buzz in Home Alone? All right, Darren. He is like forced to sleep in the attic. Look what you did, you little jerk! Ben. Sent to the attic. Dev. Sleep in the attic. And notorious. Put in the attic. And they are all correct as. They, the correct answer is he was sent to the attic, which means Ben and Darren are tied currently. But we do have one final question that could possibly end it all and have our winner. Otherwise, we might need to go into some overtime. So your final question for the holiday movie Iron Man match is as follows. What Christmas song has appeared in the most movies according to his IMDb credits? Remember your repeats. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everyone has at least one week repeat on the table still. Three, two, repeat. One. Okay. There. Darren's his. second. Yep. And ben still has two should he choose to use them. Three, two, one. Okay. That's time. Darren. No repeats. White Christmas? Ben. I'm dreaming of it as well. White Christmas. Good. Jingle Bell. <laughs> Dev. I put Christmas in Hollis. And <laughs> White, White Christmas, Christmas as well. So three people guessed White Christmas. However, the correct answer is Jingle Bell. I was jingle thinking that too. No, see, other, no. It's simple. Yeah. I was thinking it too. Meaning we now have a tie. Between Darren and Ben, and we'll go into overtime. <laughs> All right, so Darren and Ben, these questions are for you two exclusively. You two can answer if you want to, but yeah. for Darren and Ben, your first question. Oh, I really want Dev to write this answer as well. Why Why not? What instrument does Sam learn no. to trust and love actually? Oh, wait. Oh, I, I got this just one. leave. <laughs> I got, I got this my favorite. One. Yeah, this is a good one. You two have it? Ben, okay. Uh, Darren? He learns to play the drums. And Ben. Yeah, it came to me, the drums. <laughs> and they are both correct. Moving on to the next. What did Dev write? I, need to know I, I was going to write like trombone or something like that. I was not going to put the drums. <laughs> All right. Your next question. The tiebreaker. 
Which department store does Buddy get a job at in Elf? Oh, he knows it too. I know this one. <laughs> man, why can't I'm going to run out of questions. <laughs> man. <laughs> we have 50, so it's okay. All right, Darren. Gimbals. Yep, Gim Gimbals. Gimbals, they're both correct yet again. Moving on to yet another overtime question. <laughs> what out. word is hole punched into Hero Boy's ticket at the end of the Polar Express? Oh. Oh, they both have it. Darren? I put hope. Oh, I have not seen this in a while. I put believe. And yeah. you're the winner! Business Ben has won it all. Yes, very excited. This is the happiest Christmas I've had since uh, Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny fucking K. Very happy. <laughs> all right, so after a tiebreaker, which quite frankly I didn't see coming, and I'm glad it ended there because we'd have to put more questions in, but <laughs> congratulations. I mean, this is only a match that can happen like once a year, and you're sure. the winner of the first one. So how are you feeling? Oh, it feels great. It feels great. Uh, yeah, a little little nervous at first, going a little uh, back and forth, not not doing as well. But uh, yeah, it came through at the end. I studied pretty hard for this one also, <laughs> catching mm -hmm. up on movies and doing uh, trivia and stuff. So yeah, very happy. I haven't won in a while, so this feels good. I'm feeling good. I haven't seen the Polar Express since it was released, so you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. About myself, I'm about to go start a fire right now, so... <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I felt good, man. I uh, I was I was in the in the neighborhood. Um, some of those questions at the end, I knew, like I think all three of the ones that they were asked or four of them at least. So uh, if those were asked during a, during the, uh, the the match, might have been a little bit closer. But yeah, I'm I'm happy with the performance. So anytime you can get a couple away from the uh, the winner, I mean, and stay in it like that for the whole match, it's a success. Luke, how are you feeling about the match? You wrote these questions. Did the match disappoint? Absolutely not. It was a holly jolly match. For amazing answers, amazing competitors, and I think next year we run it back. Ben has to defend his crown. Looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah, and there's always so much the good questions that could be answered with these Christmas movies. As we end it here today with our holiday with our holiday Iron Man match, I'd like to thank everyone for watching and thank you for your support throughout the year. We've had a great year here, at the League of Cinephiles, and happy holidays again from all of us to you. Thank you guys for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, ciao.